Tena koto, tena koto, tena koto katoa. My name is Christina Hopner and I'm the current project lead of the open source portfolio platform Mahara. At the end of September 2021, we are celebrating the 15th anniversary of the project that was initiated in a number of tertiary organizations in Aotearoa, New Zealand in 2006 and has since found a large following around the world. For me personally, it's been a wonderful journey for the past 11 years working at Catalyst, supporting organizations around the world to implement and establish portfolios in their learning and teaching, as well as also supporting research. Mahara has evolved over the years to provide the functionalities that organizations require to work with portfolios. In this video, we'd like to share readings from community members who've been there in the first hours, as well as those that have seen the project grow over the years. Kia ora ratato. My name is Penny and I want to congratulate the Mahara community for reaching this milestone of 15 years. I made the first commit to the code base in 2006, which is why I was asked to film this video, but actually it was a huge team effort, so I would like to shout out particularly to Nigel McNee and Martin Smith, both of whose involvement heavily shaped Mahara over the years. It was a real honour to be involved in the project in the early days. And although my involvement waned when I moved overseas, I've kept an eye from a distance on and off ever since. 15 years is an immense achievement for any project and it's down to the time and love from all of the volunteers and all parts of the project in those 15 years. So a huge mahi to all of you for getting this far and here's to the next 15. It's coffee. Congratulations on the 15th anniversary of the Mahala project. I'm Mitsuhiro Yoshida, Mahala Japanese translator since 2008 from Mahala 1.0. I've been feeling the history of the project through the code. I've been watching a lot of improvements making Mahala easy to use. And I'm honored to translate the Mahala language files created by such talented and creative developers led by Christina. I wish you will be happy to use Mahala more and more. And I wish all the best for the next decade and 15 years of the Mahala project. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Aura Catalyst. This is Teresa McKinnon sending you a message from the centre of the UK in Warwick in Warwickshire. Um, to wish you many congratulations on your 15th anniversary. I have to say I've been using uh, Mahara for many years now and it's a wonderful community and even stronger than that it's a, a piece of software that brings people together and ensures that they have ownership of their own data. It's one of those uh, rarities in educational technology in that it's principled and supports the values that every educator holds about looking after their students and caring for their future. So thanks guys for producing something as brilliant and as exciting as you have in the Mahara project. Congratulations, enjoy your celebrations. Hello, Mahara community. My name is Gregor Angel, and I'm the translator and the developer. I have translated Mahara into Slovenian language and developed several plugins. Um, it has been a great journey in the past 13 years that I've been involved with Mahara. Um, I was the one of a few people that selected this tool to be used in schools in Slovenia. Um, when, when using Mahara when dealing with the community. I found a great deal of excellent people that helped me along the way. And with the help of those people, I managed to grow um, on the personal and professional level. Since I'm also the teacher, I've used that tool also with my teaching and with my students, um, both in their formative presentation as a portfolio, as well as the 
um, development of the tool in terms of the programming, since I'm also a computer science teacher and I teach programming. I wish this project to be very successful in the years to come. So all the best to Mahara community. Uh, hopefully this will turn out right. Ngahapori Mahara Pai Katoa, Senebolshe Mahara Skupnost. Kia ora koutou, ko Mandia Mentis Taku Ingoa. Um, I'm from Massey University and the Director of the Specialist Teaching Programme. Tēnā tato, ko Wendy Holly Bow and Aho. I work with Mandia on the Specialist Teaching Programme as the overall coordinator. And we've been using Mahara across various programs within the Institute of Ed at Massey University um, in the Educational Psychology Programme, Speech Language Therapy, Primary Teaching, but most importantly in the Specialist Teaching Programme where over the past 10 years, we've had more than a thousand students uh, use the platform and they found it extremely valuable, both as a workspace for their thinking, but then a showcase for their learning and assignments. And what's been gratifying is students have gone on to continue to use their portfolios for their lifelong, life-wide and life-deep learning. Um, they've formed communities of practice using it, They've used it as kites of resources. They've used it um, as alumni to keep in contact um, for their CVs and also for their appraisals. As tertiary educators, one of the things we value the most about Mahara is how multimedia lets us see what the studiers are learning from a variety of sources and in order to have ripples in a variety of ways. So in their pages and in their portfolios, they show us the blogs that are informing their ongoing learning. They show us webinars that they've created or participated in. They have RSS feeds that are constantly keeping their practice fresh. And in terms of showing us real live evidence of the difference they're making in the communities and in the sector, they don't just tell us what they've learned and how they've grown, but they actually pull in videos of them working with families and Fano. They show us um, meetings that they've held, professional development that they've facil facilitated via actual PDFs of their presentations, actual webinars that they've recorded. And all these ways let us know, hand on heart, that all of the people that go through our program are out there, rigorous, effective, responsive, making a difference, and that we're seeing this in these multimedia portfolios. So just a big shout out um, from us to all of the rest of the Mahara uh, community that we've met at Mahara Hui, both nationally and internationally. And yeah, happy 15th anniversary, especially to the Mahara team and Christina um, for the awesome platform that you've created and for all the support over the years. Wishing you all the best and looking forward to the next 15 years together. To Christina and the team at Mahara, I just want to wish you a very happy 15th birthday. Hello, Mahara community members. I am Shinichiro Kubota from Kumamoto University, Japan. The Mahara is working hard in our master's program. So I would like to thank the Mahara community members, developers, and everyone involved. Happy anniversary from Japan. Hi, I'm Yoichi Tanaka, a board member of the Mahara user group Japan for 11 years. Since 2010, we have been organizing the Mahara Open Forum Japan. Happy anniversary! Hi there. Mahara has shown me how fun and wonderful it is to be open source. It has now brought so many people together in this way. We look forward to many more successful years with community. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary and best wishes to the Mahara project. 15 years, and it's no lie to say that it's getting better with age. I first used Mahara in 2014 as a student myself, and now I support its use in Dublin City University for over 10,000 staff and students. 
Mahara is a key tool to allow us to provide a transformative learning experience for our students and give them a way to demonstrate and share their skills and knowledge over their learning journey and beyond. Dear Christina, dear Mahara community, oh my goodness, it's hard to believe that Mahara has been around for 15 years now. By a happy coincidence, I came across Mahara at a very young age, young in terms of Mahara years, mind you, when I was looking for possible software solutions in a research project on ePortfolios at the new University in Krems in April 2007. And Mahara was one of the few projects in which a platform developed as an ePortfolio solution was offered as an open source software. And at that time I was really surprised that in such a short development time a software solution had emerged that worked so well in its core functions and that after my evaluation I could recommend it without reservation. In addition to the research project, we also used Mahara intensively in our study programs at the university at that time and also invited schools to test the ePortfolio method on our platform. Many students and teachers will probably hate me for this because uh, portfolio work is not exactly uh, high on the popularity scale. At that time, the growing popularity of Mahara coincided favorably with the campaign ePortfolio for All. And even here in the German speaking countries where ePortfolios were hardly known to anyone before, there was something of a spirit of optimism and even a small movement. In recent years this movement has unfortunately died down somewhat, but ePortfolios have nevertheless established themselves to some extent as a method, especially in university teaching. It is all the more beautiful that the Mahara community is still very much alive after 15 years and I wish the community at least 15 more great and successful years of global networking and cooperation for the idea of future-oriented education that finally makes the shift from teaching to learning. All the best from Vienna Hello to the Mahara community all around the world. It's a big honor for me and a great pleasure to be invited to contribute to the birthday uh, congratulations for 15 years of Mahara. Christina, you asked me to make a 30 second presentation, a uh, 30 second video, which given the time I've been with Mahara, uh, actually since 2008, um, I find it quite impossible. So it might be a little bit more lengthy than 30 seconds. Well, let me introduce yourself for all those who don't know me. I'm Sigi Jakob. I'm uh, uh, the German, they call me German Mahara Granny for a reason, because I was the first one in 2008 with a European project called More Self-Esteem with your ePortfolio, which was a European pilot. And I was invited because they didn't find anyone else who were, they were also scared doing it in English and with a new software and a new teaching and learning methods. So um, I said, okay, I'd like to do that. So I started uh, working with Mahara <coughs> with workshops and teaching people, training people, which I must admit was quite hard at the beginning because uh, at the beginning Mahara was full of bugs and whenever I came to a problem I always thought it was my fault but in the end I had I was in contact with Nigel McNee who was still working then with Mahara with Catalyst so um, he was very helpful thank you Nigel for helping me to get over these obstacles and then also with Penny Penny Leach who is a legend you all I think you all know her 
And uh, then slowly I kind of became the German Mahara um, uh, pilot leader. And uh, because I liked it from the beginning, I will tell you a reason. Because I was working with Moodle, I had been working with Moodle before, and all that was missing in Moodle, I found it in Mahara. Uh, the part that means that uh, Moodle is the teachers or the groups, and Mahara is the students. So I found the exact, the perfect combination of the two of them, especially that the developers of Moodle and Mahara, they knew each other well. So it uh, worked completely well together and I think it still does. Well, I continued uh, teaching, training and uh, using Moodle for many, many years until uh, my, uh, until when I went uh, into um, pension. And uh, that was well, almost six years ago, yeah. And then uh, they still asked me to come into workshops. I went to Southampton, thank you for inviting me. Um, I met uh, parts of my community. I had made a big community, a big network. That's also why they called me Networking Lady on Twitter. And uh, thank you, Sam Taylor. Thank you, um, Christina Dulfer. Thank you, my friend, my dear friend, in uh, Czech Republic, uh, Linda Pospisalova, I think you know her, she's now become the Czech uh, Mahara expert and uh, she's continuing to work on this, uh, on this uh, level. So thank you to all my um, students, thank you to all fellow teachers, Ulrike Montgomery, who was a big companion, uh, helping me to implement it and uh, defend it because it was very hard to defend it in the German administration, uh, as you can imagine. And, um, well, thank you all of you. I hope I haven't forgot. There are so many people I should have mentioned here who really were a big community, a big help for me. And, uh, well, I hope to see you soon, maybe on uh, online in a video conference, which would be a nice thing to do, Christina. <laughs> And I especially my last thing goes to Christina, because since Christina has taken over and is has been a community manager, she really has done an awfully great job, really. And she keeps together the whole community. She's always very helpful and very friendly and never loses her temper as I would sometimes do. So congratulations to all of you. Keep up your good work. And uh, well, hope to be to stay in touch with all of you. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello, Sam Taylor here. I just want to wish Mahara a happy, happy birthday. We've been together since 2008 when I started as a new e learning uh, support officer at Southampton Solent. I then moved um, to Cranfield at the Defence Academy and pretty much took Mahara with me and helped promote it there. And now that I'm part of Catalyst in the European um, area, I am still using Mahara to this day and promoting its benefits. So happy, happy birthday. Every day I take a step, small at first, but soon I've leapt beyond where I imagined I could go. I'll let you see what I can do, but it's more fun when there are two. So join me as I spread my wings. Every goal and wisdom is forever. Mahara is the heart, and the knowledge is the soul.